Absolutely. Pins and needles tonight as this water continues to rise, Eric. I wish I had good news like TJ did. I wish I could tell you that this water was going down and the rain had stopped. We're 0 for 2 on that score. The rain harder than it's been since we've been here, and this water is still coming up. Beyond that woman kayaking there is Peach Creek, which continues to rise. The homes that are beyond me already have water in them. They're getting more as we speak. At least a, a foot in the homes right where I am standing far more as you work your way down down this street. It gets deeper. Uh, the people back there were told some of them are moving some animals around trying to get anything that they can up as the water has already entered their home. We've talked to some people as you work into the dry spot of this street here, Dunham Place in uh, the north side of Kingwood, who are awfully nervous about this water continuing to rise. In Harvey, all of these homes were underwater, so all of these homes have been rebuilt since then, and now they're facing this again. They know how tough this, this is. Uh, to rebuild. Caitlin, is it okay if I talk to you now? We're live on Channel 13. I don't want, don't, don't get off your boat. Just a second, just a second. Tell, tell me what it's like back down at the uh, end of the street. Um, it's pretty deep. It is. It's pretty and, deep. And, and what's it like? In, you live down that way. Yes. And what's it like inside your home right now? I got three, almost four feet. Keeps coming up, so. And what were you able to get up before you left? I managed to get my couches and everything elevated, but my floors buckled, so it kind of made everything just tumble over. You, you said you were trying to get in the first time, and you couldn't get in. The floor had buckled so much yeah. you couldn't open the door. Yeah, I did. It's awfully scary to, to sort of watch this so. and know that it does. The water is still coming up. I know. I'm trying to get my parents out right now. Well, what's, what's taking them so long? Why won't they come? Because they don't want to leave their home again because of Harvey. Two years. And two years ago, everyone on this street did this. Mm -hmm. You have the energy to do it again? No. So what are you going to do? I'm going to move <laughs> on a mountain. You can find, find a mountain. Yeah. Find Houston's mountain. I guess something. That sucks. It, it's awful. Good luck. You made a ton of trips. How are your arms? They're tiring. <laughs> I know. I've, I've I watched. I my dad's key to move his truck over here. Yeah. So. Good luck. Good luck. I hope you're going to be okay. It, it is tough. I think anyone who's been through this and anyone who's watched a neighbor or loved one go through it knows how hard it is. Caitlin, uh, certainly not any stranger to this, and unfortunately way too many of our neighbors, Eric and Alona, aren't strangers to what this street is going through, uh, and now we're going to have to lift our city out of this muck yet again. It's just a lot to bear and, and a lot to think about that here we are in our, our second or third night of this storm, depending on where you live, and it's not over yet.